Hey everyone, Steven here. So I wanted to do a, a video on Invite. Ticker symbol is NVTA. I did some research into this company recently and I also found that there weren't that many great videos or YouTube videos or people talking about this in depth yet. So I wanted to make a video to bring some of my research that I've done into this company out and also just provide some extra thoughts on this company because it is really a very interesting company and ARK Invest has also invested in them a lot. So it seems very promising and just wanted to do a deep dive into what the company is about, their future, and yeah. So first off is a company that helps primarily doctor's offices and hospitals do genetic testing. And one of the things about them is that they are basically the best in the market for genetic testing right now. I've been reading a lot of Reddit threads about Invitae and it seems like some of the doctors and clinicians out there typically choose Invitae because it is one of the best options there is and they also like that Invite continuously improves uh, what they do, which is super important for them because they need to make sure when they are locked into a company that does the genetic testing, they are improving themselves, making things better because usually they don't switch that often for a lot of these doctor's offices and clinicians. And so here is some of the Reddit threads I've been going over and really a, the really a lot of them that are particularly doctors say it is basically the best. So this uh, guy is saying he works in the clinical diagnostic space. Nivite is really the clear winner in this space. Of course, this was a little while back ago. And then, you know, Reddit as it is, it's a, <laughs> there's a lot of different opinions and colorful language around. But yeah, so Invite is interesting in that case. So the main thing is like what I'm looking for is seeing if the, if the company can grow into a significant market size. And Invite right now is Invite market cap is about 8 billion market cap. So when I'm making an investment, I'm kind of looking for a company that will grow substantially. Primarily my style of investing is I usually just invest in one or two companies or maybe two or three occasionally and really put everything behind that because I'm not really looking for small returns. I'm more interested in larger returns and I have other also it's sort of if you see some other channels out there like hyperchange daily investing and things like that they also do similar items and i found that to work much better for me as well so that's how i do it i also invest in other assets as well but yeah so invite is interesting in in that i think they can continuously grow this market but because they aren't very consumer oriented they have to sell directly to doctor's offices the growth rate might not be super fast. I think they're about 30% growth right now. I'm gonna do a more deep dive into their financial projections in a coming video. But for this one, it's really just what is Invite about. Some other interesting information I found was that Invite, they don't really make the machines that does the sequencing. What Invite really is, is they do a lot of the analysis of or the software stack needed for gaining insights after the sequencing is done. So for example, you after the sequencing, you, you get a lot of the genetic data, the ATGC, what a person's DNA is. And then what Invite does is they take that and then draw insights from it saying, oh, you have this sequence, so you're more likely to have a certain type of cancer, a certain type of disease. And they, most of the acquisitions so far that Invite has acquired are companies that are creating algorithms and data, ways of accessing databases to figure out all these information sources. 
So the machines they use right now is interesting. Invitae actually uses Illumina sequencing machines, but they are also looking into Pacific Biosciences from what I've heard. And they are very open to any type of machine and most doctor's offices will buy the genetic test from Invitae and then Invitae handles everything else from the sequencing to the analysis and then they'll provide the reports to the doctors. And then if doctors or patients have even more questions, they can also schedule an appointment with someone from Invitae's team to go over the genetic data and yeah, things like that. One, one Twitter thread I highly recommend everybody who's looking into Invitae to read is the thread by Simon Barnett from ARK Invest. He goes a lot into the genomic space and specifically into what Invitae is doing and why he is so bullish on Invitae. I'm gonna post this Twitter in the YouTube description as well, but a general summary of it is that they, uh, ARK Invest has sold all of their Illumina stock and has heavily invested in other genomics companies. And one of them is Invitae. And the main reason is that Invitae is continuously improving um, their products and they're releasing new products, whereas Illumina really isn't doing that as much anymore or drop, driving down the price of their sequencing. So for example, Invitae recently acquired a company called Archer DX and Archer DX, if um, I'll have to do some more research into Archer DX, but just from um, the perspective right now, what I see is Archer DX allows them to do more types of analysis on with the DNA data. So Archer DX will allow them to look into a few other diseases. And Invitae has also um, created a lot of these new AI tooling and AI algorithms that allows them to figure out new type, understand the relationship between more DNA gene types and the diseases they're related to so that the data from a gene, gene sequencing is much more useful with Invitae tests. So the difference between 23andMe and Invitae is basically Invitae is really to understand from a genetic test the what it actually means really like what types of diseases you're going to have what types of diseases you might be suffering from that has a genetic component and then also what it does is whereas like 23andme is like ancestry types of things and also fundamentally the sequencing from 23andme and these other more consumer companies are actually more surface level so they don't sequence as much of your genome as Invitae does. I believe Invitae does a full genome sequencing, but I might be wrong. I think they do do that just because they are they work with clinicians and I think that's probably going to be much more useful if they just sequence the whole genome. If yeah, if any of the information I say is incorrect or anything like that, please do correct me. I'm really interested in just bettering my understanding as well. And yeah, so a, a lot of the things, another thing that Invitae is doing really interestingly is that they're starting to get into testing, testing as it relates to cancer. So if someone it, finds out that they have cancer, a lot of times doctors will now order a genetic test, particularly from Invitae a lot of times, and that helps them figure out the best treatment for that cancer because with the genetic data, they can better understand some of the potentially some of the causes of that cancer if they have a certain genotype or things like that and it just changes how they do the treatment i was i was listening to the earnings call and it seems like this is where they're trying to head into but they weren't really clear as in what that how that changes the cancer therapy if they find out, oh, they have a certain gene or something like that. So that's something I want to look more into. And if anybody knows any information on that or is involved in the genomic space, please let me know. I'm also interested in interviewing someone who 
understands more of these genomic research and the space. So if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Yeah. And yeah, so that's sort of some of the areas of Invitae. I think, so this one is interesting. Invitae is going into prenatal screening, which is a really huge market. So with prenatal screening, it's basically you can, you can make sure that the, if you're having a child, that the child will be healthy and they won't have any gene issues that is unfortunately very common in a lot of people. And yeah, I think this is, this is some of the areas in Vitae will be going into. And yeah, I think it's a really interesting area. And then some other information is that I found around the web. So this, there's this one YouTube commenter that basically says Invite is a data mining company. The more data they have, the better the results will get in the future. So you can kind of think of it as, as sort of a Google of sorts, the more data that they have of of the gene information of different people, the better they will get in the predictions, which makes sense. I think they're really the only company that is doing these full sequencing. A lot of these other consumer companies aren't doing full sequencing, so they're at a data disadvantage. I, I'm curious later to see how that will actually play into their business, because of course you can have really good data, but if it's not being utilized well, if it's not being utilized in a way that will increase your company's revenues, it really doesn't make sense to have all that data. Like for example, Tesla's autonomy is really great because they have so much data than any other autonomy company. And they're pretty likely to be first to reach self-driving because of that. And, but for Invitae, I'm not sure how that data gets, will, like what sort of milestone that'll allow them to reach in the future. If anybody knows anything about this, please let me know. I've, I've done some machine learning in the past, so I kind of understand this aspect, but I don't see how that'll play exactly a role in their business yet. And then also they, Invitae just tries to vertically integrate a lot of things. And this is really great. I love that about them. And they also, and like, like this person is saying, they're, they're the Tesla genomics. They're really expanding very quickly in the genetics space. And yeah, I think one thing is once I don't see how Invite will continue to grow after it kind of encompasses just genetic testing. I think there's a lot of things that can be done in the genomics space that aren't just testing. For example, doing things like immunotherapy, and things like that, which requires genetic testing and gen genetic sequencing. So I'm kind of curious to see if Invitae in the future will go into these new into new fields as well, using some of the data that they accumulate and just their really core business advantage and technology advantages. So one thing to know is that the really the main drive, the main business around Invite is how many samples they are doing. So year over year, they've been increasing the amount of samples that they're doing. And then the revenues have also been increasing as well. I'm not too sure right now what the cost per sample right now is like a, for a genetic test for Invite is. I think I saw on one, probably from the earnings call presentation, it was around 200, 200 to $300 right now I might be incorrect and on that so if anyone has more info please let me know but right now since COVID people haven't been going out to doctor's offices and things like that as much so their COVID because of COVID Invitae's testing or volume of samples has dropped and you can see their revenues has dropped a little bit in early 2020 it's already recovering and it, it's already at its new all-time highs of the number of samples they're doing. And yeah, the the one thing that is really interesting right now for me personally is how Invite is going into helping with cancer care. And 
they're doing sequencing of also, I believe this was a slide from their earnings call from Q3. And I think they're also going into working on sequencing of tumors and also germline sequencing, which I'm not too sure on. If anybody has more information on how, how this works, I'd love to talk more with you. Do let me know. And yeah, so I think this is going to be a big area. Cancer care right now could be improved a lot, especially preventive cancer care. And a lot of people, I think a lot of, there are a few startups out there that are working on taking samples of like your blood or cells and then, and then analyzing that to figure out if there are indicators of cancer. And a lot of that is based on looking at the molecules that you have in the samples or doing sequencing of that. And I think that is very compelling. I, I think it's still very early on. And I, I really hope Invitae gets into the space. There are some smaller startups like Freenome that are getting into the space. And I see a lot of potential in this area. Potentially Invitae might acquire some of them in the future, like they have been acquiring a lot of smaller companies as well. So I think that's quite interesting. I'm gonna, uh, this is, Invite is definitely something I'm gonna keep an open eye on. I'm fairly new to the genomic space and the genomic companies in general. And yeah, I, I think it's a really fascinating space. I'm gonna continue doing more research. If there's any genomic companies you want me to take a look at, or dig more into or potentially ha bring on people for interviews and things like that, do let me know. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>